What made me first suspect Joe was that he knew more than any innocent person should have known. I suspected Irene the moment I heard the fireman's testimony. You have the unimportant facts. I suspected, I suspected Elaine. the postman after he testified. I suspected. 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 Listen to radio's newest, most interesting and thrilling program, Suspicion. And now, suspicion. Somewhere in the drama about to be presented is a seemingly unimportant fact, a hidden clue that first casts suspicion on the ultimate culprit. Listen regularly to this thrilling series. Test your powers of observation and deduction and find the hidden clue. It may be a single line, a sound, perhaps a complete scene. All names and characters depicted in this story are fictitious. Any resemblance to persons living or dead is entirely coincidental. In the story... Announcer for death, presented last time in this series, do you remember this scene? In a modern, completely soundproofed radio station, Captain Griff McKisson has just completed his program. You've no idea, George, how glad I am that's over. But what's the matter? Did you hear anything during that last machine gun sound effect, Captain? Why, no. What? I could swear I heard a shot. Not a sound effect, but a real shot. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the hidden clue. The studios and offices were completely soundproofed. And George McGraw claimed to have heard a pistol shot over even a blast of synthetic machine gun fire. And now we present Honor Among Thieves. Paris, France. Shortly before midnight of July 5th, when Julianne Nouvelle enters his small apartment in a quiet section of the city. Close the door, monsieur. Huh? The door. Close it. But who are you? Keep your hands away from the light switch, monsieur. My eyes are quite accustomed to the dark. Now walk straight ahead. Quick. What do you want? Don't touch the lamp. Help! Police! <laughs> we shall meet again, Monsieur Nevelle. <laughs> Not only last night attempt, Anton, but I have a feeling that constantly am I being watched. Have you notified the Surete, Julien? Uh, no, not yet. For surely the police can give you protection. And they would have to know why I need protection, huh? No, Anton. It is better to handle it this way, quietly. Very well, just as you say. Now, how soon can you finish drawing up the patent papers? Mm, no later than tomorrow afternoon at this time. Tomorrow, huh? Mm, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, Julien, but there have been other matters called to my attention. It probably makes no difference, only I had hoped to register my invention this afternoon. But certainly, if I had such a valuable invention, I too would want to register it as soon as possible. However, to rush the paper through too fast is inviting trouble later on. I understand. Anton, would it be too much trouble for you and your wife to put me up at your place tonight? Trouble? Absurd. Of course not. We should be extremely honored to have you. Perhaps I'm being very foolish, but I'm certain that another attempt will be made to steal my plans. And as I live alone... Say no more, Julien. You shall be our honored guest until the invention is safely registered with the government. And as for being too much trouble, voila, we are friends, Julien. Julian, have you not yet found the secret panel in this room? No. And you have examined the walls carefully, eh? Yes. <laughs> Good. Now, close your eyes for a minute. And now, my friend, open them. 
Good heavens, I'll <laughs> try. Right before your eyes, eh? Yes, but I, I would have You sworn and that... my wife and I are the only people who know of this hiding place, but only I know how to open it. Here, we place your patent papers in here, and in the morning, we find them undisturbed. Uh, that's what's the matter. I, I thought there would be a wall safe or a. I am a... the only one who knows how to open it, Julian. But should someone try to force the panel open, the secret control button also controls a burglar alarm, and the burglar... Oh, uh, what do you want, Andre? Your wife wishes to know if you and Monsieur Nevelle will join us in a game of cards. Well, certainly, in just a moment. Truly, Julian, this is the safest place I know for your invention. It is no longer a secret hiding place. Uh, oh, because Andre has seen it? Obviously. Julian, believe me when I say I would trust him with anything I have. Andre is young, yes, and perhaps he does not always look one straight in the eye, but he is honest. I have known him for five years. I trust him implicitly. Don't worry. Nothing will happen. And in the morning, we shall find the papers as safe as if they'd been locked in the bank of Harry. But shortly after one o'clock the following morning... Julian. Julian, wake up. Julian. Uh, Julian. Huh? Julian, wake up, man. Huh? What's the matter? Who are you? What's wrong, Arthur? Someone is trying to open the secret panel downstairs. The alarm in my room just went off. Follow me. Have you a gun? No, but there are two of us. Now, I will go first. Then you light the lights. There, there are the stairs. The door is slightly open. Are you ready? Yes. Now, as soon as I get hold of him, you switch on the lights. The switch is about four feet from the doorway to the left. Yes. Come along, then. But it couldn't have been Andre. He left the house two hours before the burglary, Julian. He could have come back. Oh, very well. I see there's no use arguing with you. Only for my sake, please make no heated accusation. Certainly not, Anton. And if Andre proves he had nothing to do with the theft, I shall apologize immediately. Uh, apartment 5, is it not? Yes. But I beg of you, do be careful of what you say. It is possible, you know, that the wall panel was not as secret as I thought. I will do all the talking, Anton. Okay, enough. enough, Julian. He's coming. What do you... Oh, good evening, Monsieur Navarre. Hello, Anton. Come in, won't you? Uh, thank you. Well, what may I do for you, gentlemen? Uh, what time did you return here last night? About uh, half hour after leaving Anton's home. I imagine it was a few minutes before half past eleven. Why? Andre, uh, Julian thinks. Did that you he... go out after coming home, Andre? Well, what is this all about? Well, did or didn't you go out after returning here? Well, I refuse to answer any questions until I know what you're... Very well, very well. Shortly before one o'clock this morning, the secret panel in Arthur's library was forced open and some very valuable papers of mine were taken. Since you and... Oh, so you think I... Since you... Arthur, his wife, and I are the only people who know of the panel. Uh, perhaps you walk in your sleep, Monsieur Neval. Also, it's not impossible that others know of the panel. But I have been here since returning from Arthur's and I defy you to prove otherwise. <laughs> Are you sure that nothing has been changed? The room looks the same to me. Uh, how about you, Anton? Oh, I don't believe anything has been touched. This small crowbar is exactly where it was when you last saw it. Yes, I'm quite sure it is. And this chair is in the identical position? Yes. The panel is open just as wide. But certainly. A spring in the lower hinge keeps it that much open. I see. Well, how long do you think it would take to force open this panel? Oh, only a few seconds, if one knew which panel to work on. And how to work, eh? Evidently, it was a professional criminal. There are very few dents and scratches in the wood. Now, if you two will leave me now, I have some notes and measurements to take. Well, certainly. Come along, Julian. 
Size 4 crowbar. Six dents in the frame of the panel on lower left corner. No dents in panel itself. Panel is six feet from the floor. Well, do you still suspect Andre? He has no witness to prove he did not go out after returning to his apartment, Anton. <laughs> if he had witnesses, Julian, then I would suspect him. Huh? How so? The criminal relies on witnesses to prove he was not at the scene of the crime. But the innocent person often cannot produce witnesses to prove where he was. We're doing our very best. But surely after ten days, there must Monsieur, be... Monsieur, perhaps you'd like to know how careful we are. Everyone connected with this case has been under constant observation. Monsieur Anto Collot, madam, his wife, their maid Florette, Monsieur André Thibault, and even you, Monsieur Nivelle. Me? Why not? Not that we suspect you, but there is a possibility that you stole the invention from someone else, and this is a camouflage. But, Monsieur... We must follow every lead. Yes, Leon Gascon speaking. Now, yeah, what's that? To America. No, make no attempt to stop him. See that his baggage is detained at the inspection shed. Yes, Monsieur Nivelle will be with me to make the identification. Will you gentlemen step this way, please? There are only a few minutes before the boat sails. What is it? This way, please. But I have no... There's no use arguing with him, Anton. What's it about, Porter? Some baggage checks were insecurely tied up in here. Come in, please. Put your hands up. What's this all about? What are you doing here, Julian? I shall ask all the questions, Monsieur Collot. You are Andre Thibault? Yes. Please give me the keys of your baggage. The keys to my baggage? Why? You are under temporary arrest on suspicion of burglary. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me your keys. Oh, all right. Here you are, but you won't find anything. No? Well, if we've made a mistake, Monsieur Thibault, I assure you that... And uh, what does this envelope contain? Good Lord, these are... You recognize these papers, Monsieur Nevelle? Uh, of course. They're the plans of my invention. That's my handwriting. Well, I didn't steal them. Antoine did it and gave them to me. I what? Oh, don't lie. The game's up. I was to take the papers to a friend of Antoine's in New York, and he... Are you to... trying to incriminate me? Are you calling me a liar? Andre, I never thought... Monsieur that... Collot, you never thought that you'd be caught. What? But you can't prove a thing. I'm only a detective, Monsieur Collot, not a court of law. However, with Monsieur Andre Thibault's testimony... He won't what... dare testify no, against me. No, I wouldn't me. count too much on that, Antoine. It was your idea from the start. As long as you've tried to blame it all onto me, I think I'll do a little talking. A few weeks later, when Monsieur Gascon of the French Sûreté was about to give his testimony in the trial of the Republic of France versus Anton Collot. But uh, when did you suspect him, Monsieur Gascon? Almost from the start. You see it. Ladies and gentlemen, did you discover the hidden clue that caused Monsieur Gascon to suspect Anton Collot? If you did, write into the station and tell us the hidden clue you found. And to test your observation and deductive abilities, listen for the correct hidden clue in this story the next time we present Suspicion. Suspicion. 